I've received this 65-inch LG G5 review sample in my test room, and it's the brightest OLED TV yet I've measured in HDR filmmaker mode. Let me show you. First, I'm going to reset all the picture settings in HDR filmmaker mode to return the TV to its factory default, out-of-the-box state. Next, let's measure its HDR peak brightness on a 10% window. And you can see that this LG G5 review unit managed to hit around 2500 nits on a 10% window at a relatively accurate white point. To put this record-breaking figure into context, even the brightest OLED televisions last year, the Samsung S95D, the Panasonic Z95A, and the LG G4, in that order, never exceeded 1800 nits on a 10% window at D65 white point. So this increase of at least 700 nits represents the biggest jump in white luminance I've measured on a consumer OLED television from one model year to the next. Now, let's measure the full screen brightness in HDR filmmaker mode. And you can see that it's around 360 nits on the LG G5. Again, a significant upgrade from last year's G4, which did not measure beyond 230 nits full fill in HDR filmmaker mode. To drive home just how bright the 4-stack, primary RGB tandem OLED panel on the G5 is, the default OLED brightness value of 80 in SDR filmmaker mode measured more than 500 nits, so you should definitely lower the value to at least the mid-20s when watching SDR content in a dark room. With brightness out of the way, let's move on and measure the TV's Rec 2020 color space coverage. As you can see, the LG G5 covers more than 83% of BT 2020, which is slightly higher than the number specified by LG Display, who supplies the primary RGB tandem OLED panel used on the G5. Delving into the picture menu, there are at least three notable changes to the picture settings that I can see. 1. If we go into the picture menu, click on Advanced Settings, then click on Brightness, then scroll down and select Gamma Adjust Brightness, you can see that it's changed from previous years. There are only two options here. BT1886, which is the correct setting for watching SDR content in a dark room, and 2.2 Gamma. Now, if you select 2.2, it will reveal a slider that spans from minus 3 to plus 3, with the default setting being 0, which should track 2.2 Gamma in real life. Reducing the value towards the negative will gradually lift the midtones, whereas increasing it will darken them, potentially enhancing image depth but at the risk of making shadow detail less visible in a brightly lit environment. LG said that this change was made in response to feedback from colorists and professional studios, who requested greater granularity when adjusting SDR Gamma in the user menu. The previous system was restricted to 1.9, 2.2, and 2.4, which is effectively the same as BT1886 on an OLED with zero candelas per square meter blacks. Okay, let's go back one step. And beneath the Gamma option, there's a new Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light Toggle, which when engaged, will use the light sensor on the TV to detect the amount of ambient lighting in your room, then automatically adjust the picture to maintain the original artistic intent to deliver a cinematic experience even in brighter conditions. Now, if we go back to the Advanced Settings submenu, click on Color, go down, and click on white balance, those of you who are familiar with LG TV settings should be able to spot the third change made by the company. You see, over the past few years, the default color temperature setting in the most accurate filmmaker mode picture preset has always been warm 50. But on LG's 2025 TVs, including this flagship G5 OLED, the default setting is now warm 40, which still targets the D65 white point commonly used within the film and broadcast industry. The reason why LG has made this tweak is because of variance in the manufacturing process. Sometimes an individual panel would appear or measure slightly bluer or cooler than D65, but with warm 50 being the limit, 
there's no way to decrease the color temperature setting to rectify the problem. With the new default setting of warm 40, at least there's some leeway to make the white balance warmer if required. At a UK workshop event two weeks ago, LG Electronics also showcased a 65-inch LG C5, but did not really arrange any specific demonstration to highlight picture quality improvements on the step-down OLED model, with most of the spotlight literally reserved for the super bright G5. If you are undecided about which LG OLED TV to buy, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer with more than 50 stores in the UK, who provides 6 years warranty on the vast majority of TVs if you join the company's VIP club. You will get the best deals through cheaper VIP exclusive in-store only prices. Complimentary gifts or freebies, so go visit your local Richer Sounds store or call Telesales for your next TV purchase. Thanks again for your support. Ok, over the next couple of weeks, I will be carrying out my comprehensive array of tests on the LG G5, comparing it against other flagship OLEDs, with a Sony BVM H631 10 reference monitor serving as the benchmark. To watch my full review of the LG G5, please click here.